here we are, the first week of March. Who would have thought? In fact, I think we're approaching the one year anniversary of lockdown. So I think we all remember that week so vividly. Uh, so I thought it only right that we have a local, colorful, spring focused arrangement this week. So we have a parrot tulip uh, and I've actually turned the petals of this inside out. So we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. We've got hooray for pasta carbonara gabura daisies. Everybody loved these. I know when we had them in January, the texture, form and shape of these is amazing. They're grown in Sonoma and they have this awesome color tone. So really excited about these. We've got some of Frank's leucodendron. He grows this in San Diego. And I don't know if you're aware, but yellow is the, is the Pantone color of the year. And I just thought it'd be really nice to have some soft muted yellows in this week's box. We have some quick sand roses, just because they're great. They last for ages and they have a really nice shape. And then Louis, who we speak a lot about Louis, he has a lot of greens right now. So the, this is eucalyptus from his farm. And then we've also got some bay leaf from his farm too. So we're going to start by, we, we've got a huge amount of greenery in this box and this is really deliberate because last week we had the jasmine and we had the geranium and we also had the lakothe. But the challenge with that is it was a lot, a lot more like structure, um, but it was kind of hard to create a full shape. So this week I thought we'd do the complete opposite. And really we've got some really nice big green pieces and uh, we're going to use them to create a really full shape. So with the eucalyptus, and this is called bouquet eucalyptus, it has huge leaves on it. Um, so it's not that sticky, it smells amazing, uh, but it's actually one of the most beautiful varieties in my, in my view. The baby eucalyptus with the short leaves, you know, I'm not a massive fan of that to be honest. Um, but I love this because it helps to create a really nice shape because you can see the leaves of it are so full and cool. And then this one, see, aren't they just the prettiest pieces? So we're going to start with the eucalyptus first and really we're adding it to the right side, left side. If you have a piece like this, which is almost like two pieces in one branch, I would definitely suggest cutting it uh, down and then just using each piece individually so we already have a really nice full shape and then what we're going to do is you'll have three pieces of bay leaf we're just going to integrate the bay leaf into the eucalyptus mm -hmm. ah i love it already and obviously like bay leaf has a completely contrasting fragrance to it so your room is going to smell like a spa honestly with these two greens alone that is really nice. Okay. So we're going to add in the roses first and then I'm going to suggest we do the pasta carbonaras next and then the tulip and then the leucodendron which is like the textural element. Uh, so remember with roses the outer petals of the roses are the protective petals so they protect them from infection. So if you have any that are like curling or browning around the outside then just pull those off. Um, these roses are really fresh. They're very resilient. You can play around folding the petals back a little bit uh, just to make a more beautiful shape. This is what they do often with the uh, bridal bouquets. Um, so you can kind of swirl them, blow into the inner center. And then you have, oh, they're so pretty, this quick sun color tone. And then what we're going to do with them is we're going to add them into the nest of greenery. So I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to do the same with the other two and then just put those behind it.
One of the things about these is they rehydrate and dehydrate really fast. Uh, so that's great because if they are floppy at the head, because that can happen, they arrive with, with us sometimes like that, they can get quite floppy at the head. If you just cut the end, as soon as you put them in water after 24 hours, they're going to stiffen up a lot. So they dehydrate, but they also rehydrate a lot quick, really quickly too. Uh, you're going to have to cut quite a bit off the ends if you're dealing with a vase similar height to mine. And really kind of, they are a focal flower. So what you're trying to do with these is blend them in between the roses. So with the tulip, so a couple of things. If the leaf is flopping, and this one is little bit, you just want to strip it off at the bottom. Um, and then one kind of technique that is quite nice with tulips is to more aggressively than the roses, um, just really bend the petals inside out. Creates this really nice shape. And then you want to cut it down and you can put it wherever you want. It's gonna bring like a really nice pop of color. So you can put it in the middle, to the right side, to the left side. And then with the leucodendron, you want to strip the leaves from this like so. And just blend it in between the arrangement. So it just, it's just gonna bring like a little bit of texture so you can put it anywhere you want in and around the arrangement. And just add texture. And there we have it. Spring is on the way.